I want to introduce the Laowa 27 millimeter. Look at this. Do I look like a makeup influencer? Anyways. I'm traveling on. All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to be doing a review on this new Laowa 27 millimeter 1.5 X stretch anamorphic lens. This thing is insanely tiny, it is insanely sharp, it is freaking amazing. But most important, I'm going to be explaining and breaking down the differences between these new Laowa anamorphics and the Sure and Vazen anamorphics. This thing's insanely tiny. I'll switch to it in a second so you can see what it really looks like. There's a handful of things I want to cover on this. Uh, and the whole set that's coming out. Obviously, you just saw the size of it. I've been using the Vazen 28 millimeter because as you can see, it's it's also small. So before I had the Vazen, I had one of the Sure's widest 1.3 stretch. And I really like that lens too, but there were some quirks about that that I'll go into here in a second. I also have Chris's 50 millimeter. Uh, this is the 1.6X Sure, uh, and it has the same characteristics as the 1.3 that uh, again, I'll get into. Uh, with that, all the Sure lenses, they're all similar in size, which is awesome. When it comes to the Vazens though, the size on them, this is the smallest lens they have. All their other lenses are totally different sizes from width to lengths and, and to weight. They're, they just, they're all over the place. So personally for me, I can't use larger lenses because I do a lot of like solo or just one assistant. And so I have to kind of operate in a minimal type of way. So with the Laowa set, they're all equally the same kind of size, the same kind of weight. And so they're literally like the smallest anamorphics in existence, I think. They're insanely tiny. So now let's talk about stretch factor. So I'm using the Lao right now, it's 1.5 stretch. Obviously the wider on the stretch you go with, the more anamorphic character that you will get. So the Vazen is 1.8 or any 2X anamorphic. That's how you get like the super anamorphic looking stuff. But with that, most of us are shooting on these mirrorless hybrid, uh, smaller 16 by nine uh, readout sensors. When you're shooting anamorphic with that, it makes it very difficult to shoot with for many reasons. I'll go over real quick. One, using focus peaking when you're trying to do a 2X one or a 1.8X stretch. Focus peaking kind of gets confused a little bit. And then also you have to zoom into the image on your monitor which kind of softens the image as well. And usually when you're using a 1.8 or 2X budget friendly anamorphic lens like all of these, uh, they're not always the sharpest when you're shooting wide open. And most of us want to shoot wide open on anamorphic because it looks freaking gorgeous. So that's one issue with it. So anyways, when you're comparing the Super 35 uh, anamorphic lenses, uh, the Sure's 1.3X stretch ones, there's a characteristic to it to where when you're trying to get your minimal focus point, the Sure stretch factor decreases. So it goes from a 1.3X to like a 1.2, 1.25X stretch. So if you're shooting any subjects, they start looking kind of wonky. Uh, and then in post, you have to start like figuring out the, the what the stretch thing is and zooming into the footage. And it gets kind of complicated. With this Laowa, you don't have to worry about that. That's what's sick. So one, again, 1.5X stretch on 16 by nine sensor still looks great. You still get the anamorphic look and you don't have any compromises when it comes to minimal focus. Uh, the last cool thing I just wanna kind of talk about uh, the options that they're going to give you. So again, there's gonna be a 27 millimeter. That's the one I have right now. There's a 35 and a 50. And again, these are all 1.5X. They're gonna give you options to choose between amber flares and blue flares. So guys, that's pretty much it for the Laowa. Again, I just have the 27 millimeter right now. Uh, pretty freaking insane lens. The fact that they're so small, is gonna be great for gimbal use, great for handheld use. And the whole lineup is, the sim is all pretty much the same size. The flares look pretty natural. It's nothing crazy. It doesn't look like super fake or any of that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully from the footage that you saw, you kind of see how sharp it is and everything. And uh, yeah, peace.